Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brain TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about what is the best things to buy from the Alliance Shop. Now, uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because there's a lot of things in the Alliance Shop that are not as worth it, and um, I feel like I need to share with people because it is it's it's something that's important, and um, a lot of people don't know this. So. First of all, I want to say that speed ups are not worth it just because you're impatient. Well, first of all, I used to buy speed ups, but if you think about it, if you get six, six hours of speed up, it's the same, it's equivalent as getting a terrenal teleport. So this is like, you, you can wait the six hours versus you being able to teleport somewhere. And, um, six hour speed ups you get for free, but... Um, well, three hours speed ups you get for free, but, uh, Trainio teleports, they're rare, and they cost 7 750,000 gems. So, it's about the same with targeted teleports, they cost, um, 1,500 gems, and, uh, and these speed ups cost, uh, you probably get, like, 12 hours of speed ups to get the same as a targeted teleport, so, that's the first thing I want to say, and I'm pretty much going to be basing all of this off of, like, um, Actually, no, never mind. So, the next thing we're going to be talking about is the is the 8-hour, well, like, these boosts. Because, um, you can get them if you guys want to, but they're really not worth it. Because you get these things at the courier station, carrier station, whatever it's called. I probably say it wrong all the time, but, I uh, yeah, so you get, um, these things pretty much for free. Just by spending a little bit of resources. Um, I always get these. I may, I'm going to make another video on the courier station um, next time it comes to my city. Because I've been waiting for it to come back so I can make a video on it. So, um, yeah, so pretty much these. I don't know why it's such a big difference. 20,000 versus 100,000. And for me, I have, I have uh, a lot more of these things in my stuff. Look, I have... Uh, boosts. Uh, I have 182 of these, and then maybe hundreds of these. It's it's really not that big of a diff. It's really like I don't know. It's but these are not worth it at all because you can get like the same price, like almost the same thing, just for getting one of these versus these. And targeted teleports I use all the time because I'm always jumping places for. I jumped. I had to jump for um. I uh, kill, uh, it was, uh, not, not kill event, it was, uh, the strategic reserve. I got 45 trophies from that, by the way. And, yeah, I had to port somewhere else with that, so these were, th these things were very useful. Um, and it's really not the same, um, value. And then the next thing is, um, wait, just let me make sure I'm going through and getting everything. Yeah, so I am. Um, yeah, so, uh, the next thing is, these are actually worth it though. These are, um, basic army expansions. These can be pretty useful, even though I have, already have a couple of these. Um, I, these are, um, if you don't have any of them, they can be very useful to have. Um, I, I own eight, as it shows over here next to the number one, or above the purchase. So, I already have a decent amount of those, but if I ever needed one, this would be the place to get them from, because... They are pretty useful. Next thing is, um, these are also very useful because I use these all the time when I'm attacking big things. Like when I'm going to attack a city. Well, no, I don't attack cities, but not very often. But, uh, if I do, or I'm attacking a different enemy, or just anything that has to do with attacking or defense, I pop these things. So, they're only 60,000, and surprisingly, these things cost more than these things, which is really insane. Um, but another thing is, the P shields, these are very useful. They are pretty much the just in case shield, just in case you get attacked. You put you pop these. And I it's pretty much the it's the same price as these. These are just as useful. I own twenty of them because I used to get them from the courier station, carrier station. Um and yeah, so I have a lot of them right now and I always use them if I'm like um like let's I probably should have popped one yesterday after kill event. That would have been smart so I didn't get attacked. Uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, so, um, that was, I probably should have popped a just-in-case shield, I'm gonna call them that from now on, because anytime you're, like, you're, it's just, like, you finish attacking someone, you want to pop it just-in-case, in, in case they're plotting to hit you, 
and um, VIP. These are not as worth it because they cost. You can get pretty much. You get these things all the time from alliance chests and stuff. So they're like you can get three three hundred VIP for the same price as a targeted teleport, which is not worth it at all. It's like paying three hundred gems. Um, it's like paying um. Mm, like uh two times because these things cost like 300 gems pretty much if you guys want to use the gems for vip well these things cost 750 so it's a pretty big difference um so i wouldn't suggest using this um and vip unless you're earlier in the game 100 vip things don't really matter that much because i'm on vip 10 right now um, I'm trying to get to VIP um, 11. I'm, but I don't even buy gems with these. I just pretty much just get it for free from my alliance chest, from what people bought in the game. So, um, yeah. And then the next thing we're gonna be talking about is the um, Tome of Knowledges. So these are not as worth it. I wouldn't suggest um, getting these from the alliance things. No, I see some people getting these sometimes because they need to level up their commanders. But let's say you want to get six of them. So this would be 30,000 XP. It's the same thing as a targeted teleport. I'm sorry if I keep comparing targeted teleports, but they're the things I use the most. And um, same thing as P shields. So uh, they are very useful to use um, targeted teleport. I mean, terrenial teleports. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's not as worth it. Um, the talent resets are though, because every time you um, need to reset a talent, um, I always get these from the line chest. They cost about the same. And random teleports, you already know you have a ton of these and you've never used one of them in your entire life. Maybe you have if you've been trying to escape from an enemy, but no, I don't ever, um, I don't ever, uh, I use these pretty much. Uh, and... Um, name rename, uh, governor renames, if you guys don't like your name, then you guys can use these. Uh, these are actually pretty useful though. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about them too much. They are pretty, they can be useful if you guys want to change your name or something. And then for your silver keys, these are probably the least value you could possibly get from the courier station. Other than probably this, but these, you get nine of them for free each day. So... Imagine I could get 120,000 um, Alliance XP, like, if I got nine of these, I pretty much get a million, compared to these standards, I pretty much get one million Alliance credits, um, I mean, what are these called again? Um, no, I don't want to do that. Whatever they're called, whatever the Silver Alliance things are called, um, yeah, so, I have... Yeah, it, they're really like the worst worst thing you could get in this and I already get so many of them I'm saving up for a 250 key opening and then when I do that I'm just gonna open all these at once along with the 250 ones so they're, they're just not worth it um, I can't believe they even price it up that far or even put it in the lion shop because you get nine of them per day depending on your tavern level so, um, yeah, it's pretty much a, the end of this video. I already covered everything, all of the stuff in the Alliance shop. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new here because we make daily rides of Kingdoms videos here. And also, um, uh, make sure to share this video for anybody else that might need to know this information about the Alliance shop. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.